seconds remaining. Reserve time. Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Cool Blue, and I am joined here with my friend Smoy from We Are Casting the Pinnacle Sports Pro AM. I don't know what the AM stands for. It might be anti mage, could be amateur, could be American. Don't really know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and unmute myself so Smoy can hear me, and I'll say hello to Smoy. Hi, Smoy. Smoy. What's up? Oh, there you go. Smoy, say hi to the Dire beautiful people. Team ban. Hey, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Smoyf TV. I'm Smoyf, and I'm joined by one of the most awesome Radiant people in the world. Toby. Yeah, it's Toby. Oh, cool blue. Wait, wait, I was supposed to be... Oh, okay, okay, right, right, right. Malk. I'm sorry, I'm just throwing out names now. I'm No, I'm joined by Sheever. Hey, she's awesome. Ten seconds. Sheever had a recent sex change. Oh, okay, no, no. Guys, no, don't, don't believe someone who's <laughs> trolling. Uh, anyway, let's move on to things before the chat, or any chat that's in here starts saying things about Sheever. We got Pretty Boy Spike versus Speed Gaming International, and um, PBS instantly banning out Chen. Smooth. <laughs> is that a respect ban, or is that a no, you don't ban? Pretty Boy Spike, you mad? <laughs> you mad? I just know, I just know Chen mad. turned those fights a few times. Well, yeah. So it's only like two fights, but... Hey, two fights is all you need. It's like love, you know? Like the Beatles? Love is all you... No? No. Nope. Okay, whatever. Nope. Fine. That's copyrighted, nope. Dire team ban. True, 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 that's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, so how <laughs> do you ban Chantress too? <laughs> what? You know what's gonna happen? Speed Gaming is gonna get like, like, OD Visage and just win anyway. Like, I don't, I don't like this. Well, see, see, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where like, if you Radiant if you target ban a certain type of playstyle, then you usually get hit with a lot of other things. At least they have first pick, so they got their profit, so they can actually deal with the junglers now. Or they can do some split pushing type things, but Visage and OD Dire probably pending. Pick. I, I trees for the speak. I trees. <laughs> nice. Yes. He trees for the yeah, speak. Yeah! I don't, I, don't I don't know about giving up this, this uh, Visage plus OD thing. I mean, it might not be OD. It might be like Life Stealer or like. But you see what I'm saying? It's like but it's like the thing it's gonna hit it, mm -hmm, Pretty go Boy Swag like a wrecking ball. No, don't. Uh, but the, the thing about it though, <laughs> the thing about it is like if you if you for, or if they pick up an OD Five or if they pick up a Life Stealer, then Pretty Boy Swag picks up a Razor. Mirana. Oh, okay. So they get Mirana, which is just as good. That's yeah. fantastic first two picks. You ban one, you get hit with the other. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, have you heard of Sing Sing as Murata? No, I haven't. The only, like, honestly, the only person I've seen Sing Sing play was Kunka. And that was, so, like, a uh, long Sing time ago. Sing Sing as Murata is, like... Um... Let me compare it to, uh... Ten seconds remaining. Dendi Pudge? It's like, it's... No, yeah, okay, sure. Or, like, um... Seconds remaining. Kuroki... Kuroki on Rubik? Like that. Puppy Chin? Yeah, it's like that. Reserve like you, time. you do not give Sin Sing Sing Murana, or he will arrow you all over the map and just win the game. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sorry. So I'm expecting great things from Murana if Sing Sing does pick up on that. But yeah, in the I meantime, think he's gonna miss 15 arrows though. <laughs> now that I said that. And all that matters is that you hit one hook or one arrow or one whatever skill shot you have. That's all that matters. And there's oh. an OD on the side oh. of Pretty Boy oh. Swag, so maybe they calculated ban. that. Maybe they expected it, that, but Razor can get banned out. Dire so they're fine. Team ban. Yeah, I think Speed Game is just gonna ban Razor here. Uh sorry, not ban Razor. So Pretty Boy Swag is gonna ban Razor. And if they don't, Pretty Boy Swag is gonna take a nice little Razor versus OD matchup to the face. Also, see OD is very, very strong in mid, but he's susceptible to one thing. Kunka? I'm gonna I'm gonna name this one. Five thing. seconds. Okay. Ganks. You yes. know what Murana's good at? Ganks? Ganks. All day long. So it's... Yeah, it's danger. Like, it's it's actually really dangerous. Slark. And we see Speed Radiant Gaming, they actually ban out of Slark, which tells you that they might have, uh, like, a not necessarily a 4 protect one shot, but they might want to have their carry farm by himself a few times, because Slark is good at stopping that type of uh, play. And Nyx Assassin was banned on Pretty Boy Swag, so... They're trying to stop the OD counters. Ten seconds. Remaining. I suspect very strongly that Speed Gaming is going to play a similar style to last game. Just go a hard carry and play four remaining. protect one and just like. Just wipe everybody off the map. Really? Dire team mm. back. They let Razor go through. Yeah. 
That's I don't understand that. Okay, sure. See, here's the thing. Speed gaming gonna pick up that razor. If if the speed gaming picks up the razor, razor's gonna run mid. Mirana's be in the off lane. Vasage plus a carry and another support will be in Ten a tri lane. Remaining. Is that yeah, or you can dual lane the Mirana, or you can mid the Mirana. Although mid versus OD is not the best, so. But yeah, it, it works. You know, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna Reserve say a blood seeker. Bloodseeker. Come on, Bloodseeker. Yeah, speed gaming. Speed gaming has got a troll, right? No, no, no. Their name is Speed Gaming. Who, who's the person who moves the fastest in the game? Bloodseeker. Wow. Come on, it's it's logic. Did you just did you just go there? <laughs> just... <laughs> Actually, it's Weaver. No, Weaver can only move at 522. Oh, you're talking about his ult. No, no. Yes, no. You know best best Weaver play? What? You TP to mid, then you activate your ulti. <laughs> Dim jukes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Speed Gamer is so nasty. So Speed Gamer going for the gank strat, they're going to have bounce Dota going on, and plus they're going to win the lane automatically because Lich can just deny creeps all day long. Um, bounce Dota, best Dota. Yes. The only concern I have with Bounce Dota is that you have a Bastion and Prisma on the field, so it might True. not be bouncing as much. Bounce Dota, best Dota. And look, Crystal Mane is banned out by Speed Gaming, so they, they don't want it. They don't want any early aggression, Ten they don't want people remaining. that be getting ganked around the map. Um, Slark, I, I honestly, if I was a captain, I will ban him out every single time, regardless of what I face, because I just Dial don't like Slark, because he's too good mm -hmm. versus everybody I play, which is Venomancer, Shadow Shaman, and supports. How about Weaver? Weaver support's good, right? <laughs> support Weaver? I never tried I've that. done that before. Really? That yeah. sounds horrible. We picked f five carries, so I had to go support. So and we won. <laughs> you with Sakuchi and then ulti? And then, yeah, and then, and then Ward. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then maxed out my first skill. Oh, the, okay, okay, the negative armor, right? I've seen that before. Five seconds uh, remaining. I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen a Weaver where they, where they, um, they maxed out their uh, first ability. Reserve time. I've seen that before. So for the negative armor, they went for like a negative armor side. That has Slaughter and Marana and some. Anyway. Slaughter. So any predictions? Any wild predictions besides Blood Seeker Smoif? Razor. Mm. Bounty hunt. Well, no, it's not gonna be Bounty Hunter. It's gonna be or a standard carry. Maybe a life stealer. Somebody blue. It has to be somebody blue because Speed Gaming have a. True, 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 true. Okay, who's who are blue heroes? Sven. There you go. Oh, gyrocopter! Cool. Gyrocopter is blue. It's called it. You called it. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> Alright, okay guys, we're just trolling because it, well, like, honestly, it's it's hard to tell what they're going to be going for because we obviously know Pretty Boy Swag needed a carry and they need another support. We know that Speed Gaming needed a carry and they need another support, so really, I mean, it's kind of left up to the Dota guides what they pick up now. But I think yeah, but um, Speed Gaming need a mid. I figured Gyrocopter, like, a standard carry would be picked by Speed remaining. Gaming, and they did. They picked up Gyrocopter. Okay, I wonder so if we're gonna have. I wonder if we're gonna have an all ranged game. Both teams pick five ranged heroes each. Oh God. Reserve time. Most boring game in the most boring game in the world. Most boring game in North Korea. So we're gonna see a draw for carry. Yeah, and stuff. Okay, no, draw would just get wrecked. A draw on the troll warlord for carry. Um. Okay, who's pretty boy Swag gonna pick up here? They need some like AOE because they don't have that. Remaining. They also need some more lockdown because Bane is the only one who has. Yeah. Five oh, seconds. Okay. There you Locked. go. Called it. Dire team ban. Rubik bounce Doto best Doto is just gonna take Lich's ult and just whee, throw it back. Hmm, that's actually a good point too because uh, if Rubik can actually still error or leap or Lich ulti, he'll be big things for him to steal. But he can also still uh, <laughs> he can also still Gyrocraft ulti not Ten flat game but Gyrocraft ulti, and besides just some... slow and it'll be nice. It'll be nice. So Radiant Assumption, Visage is ult, mm -hmm. Marana's anything, Lich is anything basically, Gyrocopter's anything but Flak, and Rockets. Like Rocket Barrage is good and Gyro's ulti is good. Like, Rubik was a good pick here. So the whole world Let's... is Rubik's oyster. Ten seconds remaining. Oy oh, oyster. Okay, okay, so Speed Gamer going for the blue strat, Five we picked up on that. Remaining. Pretty much yeah. they're going for the int strat. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be uh, mono blue control for speed gaming. <laughs> oh god, no, don't. <laughs> don't, Swark, no. No, no, so no, no, no magic. Pick. They're gonna pick up Island as their last, uh... <laughs> get lane locked. Oh my god. <laughs> bounty. You know, I was actually gonna predict Bounty Hunter, I said it earlier in the cast, remember me saying Bounty? What, you didn't say it confidently enough, but no, Bounty no, Hunter. I, no, that's true, that's true. I didn't think it would be. 
Um, okay, how are their lanes gonna go? For speed? Yeah, this is like the need for speed. They're likely gonna have uh, probably Lich Bounty in the off lane. Um, have Marana and Visage in the safe lane. And, or sorry. Sorry, they're gonna have uh, Lich Bounty in the off lane. Have... Actually, no, seconds. Lich might go mid. Ten seconds. Yeah, I wanna see Lich just deny creeps for OD and just like laugh. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can steal my intelligence, bro. That makes my... That makes my uh, sacrifice give me more mana. And a Luna's gonna be the last pickup on Pretty Boy Swag. Naoma? Well, they lost to the Luna last game, so they might as well pick up Luna this game, right? Maybe it'll work. Might um, as well. Luna versus Gyro, they're about even as carries. I, I saw a game where both Luna and Gyro got DRs, mm -hmm. <laughs> and and the both both shrines were exposed, mm -hmm. and then the Gyro ended up winning, but it was like within one one hit, like that close. Wow. So, they're, yeah, they're both equally good. Yes, and um, it's kind of it's kind of like um. All right, all right, so. I like to draw analogies between Enigma and Magnus. Like when Magnus came out, nobody played Enigma ever again. Um, and the main reason because for that is because Magnus was a better Enigma. Like Enigma was a broke man's Magnus. Taking that same logic, Luna is technically a broke man's Gyrocopter. Ten like, seconds. Her remaining. Moon Glaives are good, but they are definitely no flight cannon. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, the only thing is Luna has a permanent flight cannon, right? Whereas Gyro doesn't have a permanent. He just has six hits and that's it, or five hits. Um, yeah, but I mean, he can kill you in five hits. Six, yeah, exactly. If he has a DR, like, bye, you're, like, your whole team's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm not, like, okay. your Dota, who's gonna win? No. So, I will introduce Pretty Boy Swag. So, on Pretty Boy Swag, we have Pandego playing Bane. We have Cakes playing Nature's Prophet. We have Demise playing Luna. We have Ryu playing Outworld Devourer. And we have Amasheep playing Rubik. Yep, and I totally forgot to switch my overlay on my uh, video. Um, but that said, we have only wait, which, which side did you introduce? Uh, pretty boy swag. Okay, on the side of speed, it uh, we have Bone Seven on that bounty hunter. That's a pretty awesome mask. I want that. Like, like you see, you see the mask. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, on the side, uh, or sorry, on Lich, we have Universe. And moving over to this Marana, we have Sing Sing, of course, so we're going to be seeing some awesome epic arrows and slash misses every once in a while. On the side of Gyrocopter, or on Gyrocopter, we see KKY. And last but not least, on this Visage, or Visage, we see I2000.int. That ends all the callouts. But yeah, back to this bounty mask. Smoif, Smoif. I'm saying, man, that's like a sick mask. That that'll be like one of the few items in Dota that I will literally go out and buy myself. Like I'll pay money for that. I have no, I have no comments. Well, how do you have no comments? There's no way you can convince me to pay for a lot of these items in Dota because they're overly priced. But I would pay maybe five dollars for that, maybe. Probably. Less. No, you know what I would pay? What? Nothing. No, so I'm wait, kidding. Why you I, I've I've bought a lot of I've bought a lot of items on uh um on thingy. On Dota? Yeah. Hmm. Smoif obviously hating on that awesome mask. The mask is so good that Smoif cannot live up to the swag of that mask. Swag it down fat, call my ship Patricia. Like, whatever you just said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we got a Marana mid. Um, you don't understand me, okay? Nope, I don't. Why don't you understand me? I understand that I don't understand you. Because it, in order for us to have good chemistry as casters, I have to purposely not understand you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, wait, so is it going to be Lich mid? No, it's going to be uh, Mirana mid. Yeah, sing, it's going to be Sing Sing. Remember, remember what I said about Mirana? Sing Sing Mirana? Yeah, but I don't know how well Sing Sing would do versus an OD. Um, sure, yeah, um, OD does have Astral Prisma. He can't use it when he's stunned, obviously. But at the end of the day, he's gonna lose a lot of mana. Yeah, and let's let's actually it's actually gonna be a dual lane. But let's look at this. Um, Marana has six hundred attack range. Od has four hundred fifty. Ooh, Bane. Ooh, Bane. No, Bane. Wrong. Oh, Bane. Oh, no, he's in this. I thought he, I thought he had a dust of appearance on. Or sorry, smoke of deceit. Oh, here we go, Pandego. It's probably gonna initiate onto Universe. Yep. And Ryu is gonna attack. I don't understand this strategy. What is this? Oh, there's the lift onto Universe. Universe goes behind the creeps, and Universe is gonna be first blooded because Pretty Boy Swag very good at picking up those first bloods. Oh, 
That's what we call the juke strat. They basically pretended they were gonna go for Marana, and then they went for Lich. Actually, no, hold on. They, they pretended they were going for Lich, and then they went for Marana, and then they pretended they were going for Marana, and then they went for Lich. So they, they faked the fake. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Some, pre some pretty cool Unless that was though. just a cluster, like, un unless that was just unless that was just a bad play, and they just, like, screwed it up, and then it worked anyway. I mean, that Nightmare I think Rubik just oh, down bottom, down bottom, we got Bounder here taking a whole bunch of damage. He should be going down here. Luna does have a Lunessa being to finish him off. It won't be enough damage, but right clicks with the lore will be coming on out. Bounty does go down. Um, sheep, 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 sheep. Shadow Walk will not do anything for you to keep you alive, and Bone Summon does TP in Invisible, just to make sure he gets the last hit. Yep. Pretty, pretty cool. Remember last game when they screwed up that second kill and they just lost all their momentum? Yeah. Well, this game they didn't. They actually got two kills when they wanted two kills. So if they can continue that, good stuff's gonna happen. Hopefully good stuff keeps happening. Uh, yeah. But now, oh, 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 that's also another thing. Okay, okay. So, some things I learned about Dota while I was reading, because Cool Blue does homework sometimes, but not on the things he should, like the professional. Yeah, exactly. Their stats exactly. <clears throat> but Bounty Hunter, if you time it right, you can actually get uh, the the damage from Shadow Walk twice. So what you do is like, uh, you pop Shadow Walk and while you're still going in Viz, you right click, you get the bonus damage, and then afterwards you right click again, you get the bonus damage from, Sh um, from Shadow Walk again. So that's what Bounty Hunter just did when he got a last hit. It was awesome. Oh. I didn't understand that. Do you use the mana twice too? No, no, like, like, like right there, like, were you watching him? No, no, I'm <coughs> watching mid. Okay, so basically like, um, because it has a delay, or a delay when you go invisible, if you right click ah. during the fade time, you get the bonus damage, and then you right click again. Afterwards, like whenever you want, you get the bonus damage. Still. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you can right click as you're fading to get the bonus damage, and then again to unfade to get yeah. the bonus. Okay, okay. That's really cool, actually. But yeah, I never do it. Like whenever I do it, I like shadow walk, and then I right click, and I'm invisible again, and I die, and I feed. Cause I'm so good at this game. Cool blue, good player. Yep. It's okay. I'm I'm also the best player in. Yeah, see, see, I'm not the only best yeah. player. Cool Blue for TI-18, I understand. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the second best player in South Korea. Cool Blue's the first. Yeah, sorry, in North Korea. I'm at North Korea. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, like, like so bad, I, I wouldn't even be worthy of South Korea. Alright, alright, alright. So back onto the game, because we see things happen. We got um, the lanes, we got rotation coming from Bounty Hunter already. He's trying to go for some damage on top of OD. OD should be going down here. He's gonna Astro Imprisonment on top of Marana. Marana does have an arrow follow up here very soon. She does leap forward. Arrow does, not, does fly, does land on top of OD. Or maybe it didn't, I don't really know, but OD did go down. Bane Haystrom was popped. And he backs away. Uh, so remember how uh, OD doesn't like ganks? Mm -hmm. He didn't like that gank very much. Well. Technically, no, okay, you're right. I was about to say, technically he wasn't ganked because Bane was there, but yeah, he was. Uh-huh. Bane, Bane helped him. Bane threw a nightmare, or he wanted to. Oh, Pandego moving really, really fast, but his haste ended out, uh, ended out because I chose to say ended out for some reason. Anyways, double damage picked up on Leech. Wait, is Visage Soul? No, it's Gyrocopter. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. It's Visage and Gyrocopter in the lane, and then Bounty Tri-Lane. Bounty Marana Lich Tri-Lane. And see, the, the, like, the main reason why this works is because, well, one, Bounty bounty being in lane is not putting any pressure on any other lane. So Bounty not being in any lane, definitely, is going to put pressure. So by him not sitting down farming, trying to get level 6 real fast, uh, he's putting pressure on all the lanes at once, even though he's obviously mid. That's uh, he's, like, he's playing like uh, Ricky. Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Radiant's Ricky not being a lane, he simultaneously attack. pushes all lanes at the same time. But um, Lich, and the, so, re the reason why this works is because Lich gets sacrificed and has free XP, so he doesn't care. Radiant's top tower is under attack. There we go, Astral coming out. But uh, again, Mariah doesn't really care that much. I mean, her arrow costs 100, which is kind of annoying when you lose that mana, but she can still last hit. She still has longer range than OD. Oh, oh. Kill down top. Profit going yeah. down. TP from Pandago fast enough, does throw out the Nightmare on top of Gara, but nothing really followed the nice little walking on top of uh, that Bane ulti, or sorry, Bane Nightmare, and they are going to be able to back yeah, it I don't know about that, like the whole uh, Bane TP again and doing nothing, and then just like, YOLO. And by I don't know, I mean that was a misplay, like he TP'd in too, too slow, mm -hmm. basically, and did, uh, did nothing, and now he's got to walk back to the fountain, Heal and then walk back mid. 
And that whole time, OD is like disadvantaged. Oh, cakes. Oh, no, cakes. Cakes. Universe. Cakes. Universe coming from the backside. No, cakes. cakes. Control. He has a sprout. He has a sprout. He has a sprout. It doesn't matter though. He's gonna die. He has no TP. He has space boots. He goes down Radiant's into the ground, tower returning is under back attack. to the earth that he, cut, that he grew out of. Meanwhile, down bottom, we got a uh, supports plus Luna farming. Yeah, I mean, out of out of all of this, let's look at the last hits and denies and stuff. So Luna is doing about as well as Jara. So that's that's the that's the good the good story here. The bad story here is that OD is not. Like OD is not doing well. I mean Mirana also isn't doing well, so I guess it's fine. But uh fine. But I mean OD honestly, needs farm. Honestly, OD not doing well versus Mirana doing not doing well. I would prefer to have a Mirana not doing well. Because exactly. she can fin test support role because all she needs to do is throw an arrow and land it. That's it. Yeah, and with with stuff like track speeding you up. And, and making them visible, and stuff like Lich slow, Visage slow, you know, you can actually get those arrows. Hmm, I never considered that, but yes, good good thing to point out, good thing to point out. Alright, Swife, items, because things are getting interesting. And by interesting, I mean, well, items. Bane has the best, Bane has the best core items in the world. Hashtag no boots, Niche Dota. Prof yeah, Niche Profit has space boots, so that's just for last hitting purposes, you know. And also you can run away, which is really nice. Luna, power treads, and uh, a ring of Basilius. We don't know if she's gonna go for uh, for um, a thingy, an Aquila or not. Mm -hmm. Od, he's, going, but probably going for a four staff. Let's look at uh, yes, he's going for a four staff. And then Rubicos, he's got boots and a dust. Mm -hmm. How how are the items looking for speed gaming? For speed gaming, the items are looking more or less the same. I mean, it's not really exciting. Gyrocopter, he's going for a helmet of dominator first. Uh, he does have his Ring of Aquila finish, which is a little Radiant's bit ahead of Luna. Uh, moving on to Morana, she has a Wraith Band, which she's had for a long time, and she also has a bottle. So she can start roaming around whenever she wants. And uh, Prof, not Profit, uh, besides, she has a TP Radiant's scroll. Top tower anyway, is under attack. really nothing interesting. Uh, we got TPs coming on top. We got Rubik actually TPs into a Garakopta ulti. He is going to be on tail end of that. He's going to go down anyway because besides, does have the ulti. We got so many TPs coming on top. This is not even funny. Morana ulti does fly through. Ulti from OD does get the kill on top of one. One, he really wanted two people to kill on that. But he only got one. And now Garakopta will be here popping himself his uh, nice little flat cannon. Easy kill is easy. Got the kill Kaz on top of Profit. That's not what you want to have. Yeah, that, uh, like, yo, uh, and Nature's Prophet is dying way too much. Like, way too, oh, universe. Well, okay, you're dead, cool. That's uh, right. yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but, yeah, but this, uh, this Nature's Prophet is just dying too much. Like, three deaths at eight minutes, like, that's, a, like, a death every three minutes. So nice, nice play by Speed Game, just shutting down Profit completely. Like he's gonna do nothing this game. Like with with those three deaths, like he'll have the Midas at like 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you know, if he decides to go for that, he could still go for a Maelstrom, which I think, I, I mean, yes, the Midas will help him get back into the game, but they, they, they don't really need his core. So yeah, okay, okay, Midas. What I was gonna say is, um, uh, um, Maelstrom would be a better item for him to go for now, because his team needs him to push, but they don't need him to push. They still have the towers. No, they, they definitely need that Midas for him to get back in the game, but it just takes so long. Like, like it's, eh. But I mean, you don't have a choice, right? You have to go that Midas. When you're losing, you have to go. You have to go. When you're winning, you have to go. It's just, that's just Midas. Like, that's that's what it is. Anyway, mid, Ryu putting mid. himself in a bad position there, yeah. And the, and the Lich gets slept by, by Bane. Oh, Ooh. there's the arrow coming out. Oh! Five second arrow, take it, Pandego. Anyways, Sing Sing, he gets he gets slept by by Ryu. Nice little drain there, and actually Ryu picking up that kill on the Lich. And also, um, and also Mirana ends up dying too. So big plays of a Bane there, turning it around. Radiance bottom. And also by Nature's Buff, that was a beautiful ulti. That that actually won that fight for them. And now they might just Dyer's take this uh, this tier one in mid. So big plays by by Pretty Boy Swag there. Yep, meanwhile, we have OD down attack. in the bottom. Uh, he's building himself a Medallion Courage, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the signal for a Roshan here very soon. Uh, middle tower is gonna be going down for the this, right? top tower, huh? You mean Visage? What? They do look similar though. Wait, 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 wait what did I say? Radiance you said OD. Has fallen. I mean, I mean, well, yeah, Visage. This... I was looking at Visage, Visage. Oh, there's the arrow coming out, and actually missing absolutely everyone, so, you know, that happens sometimes. Anyways, Cake's actually pretty close to his Midas, so if he gets a Midas within like 14 minutes, 13 minutes, whatever, that's, that's still great, that's fine. And that death won't matter so much, those three deaths. Now we got Except, uh, 
that they fed people, you know. Golden Summon doing some scouting of his own. Uh, he will be able to see the fact that Bane is coming around here. That might key Garo to dive, but um, I don't know if Garo has the damage to actually kill Bane while he's ulted. Because uh, Bane... Oh, never mind. I almost say like, Bane is level 6, but he's not. Bane. So really, the, like, like to me, the big key, uh, the big attack. key difference between Pretty Boy Swag and uh, Speed Gaming right now is the fact that the supports on the side of Speed Gaming all have their ultis. Um, you really need Bane and Rubik to have their ults. Bane just got his ult. Rubik really needs his ult. So you can't That's steal arrow. Dyer's bottom yeah, because uh, when Speed Gaming has bounced Doto and Pretty Boy Swag doesn't have bounced Doto, it's like it's bad. Oh, oh, and um, I bring up this point a few. T I brought up this point a few times before. Dyer's but um, when you have a when you're attack. when there's a bounty hunter on the map and the score is even, your team, the team that's even with the other team who doesn't have the bounty. Wait, I don't know if I said that right. But the team who doesn't have the bounty is losing because bounty hunter has track gold. That exactly. said, there's a Rubik, so there can be track gold on both sides now. Yeah, which is lovely. Like that that Rubik pick was fantastic. Mm -hmm. They actually speak to me. Actually, picked bounty into Rubik. Mm -hmm. That's how confident they are in their bounty pick. Which is actually not really bad because I, I think the Rubik's picked up more for the uh, Marana arrow. But um, the ulti does come, or sorry, stun does come from Marana. Hits on oh, the Luna oh. from downtown, so she's gonna be tra caught up a little bit. Track is off on top of uh, OD. Rubik's still not level 6. <laughs> yeah, that was really dangerous. Like, but I did, uh, Speed Gaming didn't dive onto it. And uh, they, they probably would have lost the fight if they dived it, so a good thing they didn't. Yeah, Here's a arrow. yellow arrow by Sing Sing, yeah, misses. But I mean, that was just a blind arrow, so you know. Can't expect ma magicalness. Yeah. Really, Anyways, uh. Really needs level six. Like, like, like. Uh, where uh, is he? Uh, I'm a sheep is actually mid. Uh, arrow from Rana does Whoa. fly. Oh, okay. Does miss. Rubik very very close. He's, he needs 15 experience. Just go just go to the small camp and kill it or something. Yeah, there you go. Now he's doing that. Well, he's going for the bigger camp, but whatever. This this will get his level six. Radiance Wait, uh, what? He level six. Rubik! He level six. Oh my god! Come on. Yeah, Ru Rubik That's... really needs level six so he can be a little bit more useful because uh, arrow is a big spell for him to steal. Um, Lich oh no no no, no. Rio! What are you doing? Oh, he has four step. Okay, I was like, what are you like? So far up. That was that was really scary. But a smoke gank is going to be coming top towards Gyarcopter, so Gyarcopter should be going down. Um, he is playing very safe, his tower is here very close to him, but Bane ulties up. Bane needs to go ahead and drop the ulti if he wants to go for it. Uh, we have a Centaur coming around the corner, Centaur is trying to scout things out for the Gyro, so Gyarcopter has a false sense of safety. Uh, there's a TP coming from Prophet as well, nice. I don't know if you need the Prophet here as well, but everybody's coming up, everybody wants to kill the Gyro. I'm not sure about the, t uh, the TP in from Prophet, but they can push on the side of that, so I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, I like I like the Prophet TP, just just because they can push with it. Mm -hmm. Get off my lawn! <laughs> what lawn? You're dead. And, uh, and that really fast minus by Nature's Prophet, like not Dyer's really fast, but like 13 minutes is, is great. Attack. You know, it's it's fine. Radiant Those three deaths won't matter that much, actually, attack. which is really nice. Um. Anyways, I weigh 2,000, pushing this bottom line, pulling the creeps away with Dyer's his uh, with his birdies, just so they can push Radiant's it easier. And they're actually gonna end up trading tier attack. one. So four people to push the tower that one person needed to on the other team. Anyways, it looks bounty? like Gold 7 is gonna go on to Cakes, yeah. I'm actually watching this. Oh, he's waiting for, for Gyro Cup. So there we go, there's the track. And Gyro is right here. And uh, oh, he gets away, and Luna with the turnaround. There's the ulti, but she's still, it's still 2v1. So dangerous, the ulti comes out. Demise taking a bunch of damage. And can he beat Bone 7? Yes, looks he like can. he can. But Bone 7 running so fast, those phase boosts plus the track, and Luna. Making a smart decision, just getting out of there. That was actually a good play by Luna. That was a turn of all nice. turns. Nice kill there on the jar. Beautiful play, actually. Getting two kills. Actually, I think just one kill, but still, super, super nice. Mm -hmm. The only mistake. Luna's... The only mistake on that whole entire fight was that bounty. Um, I think he threw a shuriken a little bit too soon. Yeah, he didn't cancel the the, the profit TP. Exactly. Like, like I was gonna say, like <laughs> here, here comes the, the cancel on the TP, but no, he didn't. He didn't do it. Yeah. Could... Oh, sing sing. He has the invis room trying to line up an arrow. Will he be able to hit the arrow? Oh, here comes the. Oh! Whoa. Really? He moved. Like, he was standing <laughs> still, shot the arrow, assuming he'd stand still, and then he didn't. Uh, it's like it's like pooch. When you go to hook and the guy moves. Okay. Unless it's, a di uh, unless it's the uh, Wraith Knight Pudge, which his hook, when it flies back, it catches you still. I hate that. That was awesome. It's not awesome. It kills me every time. Chin chopper, chin chopper. Stop it. No. Go away. Anyway, Rubik has a Frost Blast, so he's finally level 6. He's able to do stuff to his, for his team, so I'm a sheep. 
No longer sucks. He's ready to go for some kills. He has arcane boots and he's ready to fight. Meanwhile, Bane ulti is up. Death's appearance is up on him, so they're ready for the bounty. And speaking of bounty, Bone 7 is actually down bottom. Bounce Dotto, best Dotto. And see, this, this is what Slark should have been doing that one game. Dotto. That one game I was talking about, this is what Slark should have been doing. Dyer's what, what Bone 7 is doing? Attack. Yeah, just, just roaming the jungle. Yeah. You might not find anybody, but just Slark. Yeah, and also you move at 522 as Slark when you're moving like that. So yeah, you're, you're right. That's that's actually really good. Uh, that's a really good point. All right, here comes Bone 7. Who is he going to throw that track onto? Probably Demise, yep. And now they can see absolutely everyone because track is that good. And uh, the sleep goes down to the cent centaur, so the centaur doesn't stun everybody. Cause... Exactly oh, stunned. did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> as, it, as it wakes up, it stuns. So good play by Bane there. Oh, no, Visage! <laughs> he was about to lose his birds there. Ryu, what are you doing? Oh my god, that positioning. Oh, oh the arrow hits! My goodness gracious, yeah. Bane puts the sleep. Bounce Zoto comes out, but it's actually not that great. The gyro hits two people. Once again, a track comes out on I'm a Sheep. Does I'm a Sheep steal track? No, he actually has soul assumption. The OD ult comes out, actually killing nobody. I'm a Sheep gets killed by Jaro Coffin. Two for one in favor of Pretty Boy Swag. Two for two, actually, coming out, because Jaro Coffin ends up falling himself. Now, Cool Blue, are these trades actually good for Pretty Boy Swag? Or do you think the the track is, is bad? Like, tra oh, Ryu gets that kill. Oh, Bounty Hunter. Oh, no, Bounty. He doesn't have mana. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bone 7. Four for two in favor of Pretty Boy Swag. That's how you do it. See, it, it's... Okay, it's one thing to be in a tie, like, as far as towers go and as far as uh, kills go. But uh, one, there's two things There's two things keeping us from being a thing where speed gaming are, you know, in the better spot. Of course they're not in the better spot after that fight. But um, Bounty Hunter has track, yes, and if your kill counter is even with them, then your team is losing Dyer's because your team doesn't have under the advantage. But now that they have the advantage, Bounty Hunter is dead, and there's also still a Rubik on the side of Pre-War Swag, which means that there's potential for Rubik to still track and maybe get two or three of his own to cancel out two or three of the bounties. So, yeah, it, it's like, at this point, Speed Gaming, of course, behind a little bit, but they still aren't, de are definitely not out of it. Um, Gyarokopter has a oh, decent absolutely. amount of farm. Luna and Gyarokopter can still go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And it's still gonna be hard to tell who's gonna win that fight. So uh, when you look at the when you compare the gold of uh, Luna and Jarcopter, Luna only has about a K, and a thousand gold is actually not that big. Like it's not that's not that big a deal. Um, if Luna had two or three K on top of Gyro, that's a pretty big lead mm -hmm. at uh, at twenty minutes. But one K, that's fine. That's like a helm, like not a helm of the dominator, but like a helm of the victim. <laughs> Like level, it's, like, it's not that much. Right, but um, Rubik does find the bounty hunter. He does not get in range to actually steal anything. He probably wants to steal track and not a uh, wind walk, or shadow walk. Yeah, shadow walk. So it's a farm again. Anyways, uh, so check out check out nature's profit nature's profits build. Oh my goodness, that's hard oh, to say. Oh, push track galore. He might go for a maelstrom after he finishes necro three. Yeah, and uh, you know what I want to see? I want to see Manta, like like Ooh. Necro plus Manta. I actually like that build, but anyway, like, no. Bone Seven on top of Cakes here, and uh, actually, is Bone Seven able to kill? Looks like he might be. There's a track coming out. There's a TP. Here comes a Shuri toss to cancel a TP, and uh, using that technique you you were talking about, but not quite strong enough. Almost, almost, very close, but not close enough. Maybe. That was actually oh nice little four step by Pandago there. Ryu pushing it up and nice kill on Jaro. That's exactly what they need. Pretty boy swag. Big play there. Mm -hmm. Like 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 um as far as the kill on top of profit though, it might have went through bounty with a pop drums, but I mean that's a drum charge for a profit. I don't think I'll be worth Dyer's it. Middle tower no, it's worth it. He, sh he should have. That's a track kill. That's really big. Okay. Like he give himself like eight hundred gold or something like. That's or like 600, whatever, it's a lot. Anyway, bottom is being pushed by Visage. Man, Visage is being really annoying. Oh, OD, getting stunned by those birds. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the no, word. No, don't. Everybody don't. knows that the, the bird nightmares. is the word. Okay, anyways. The nightmares. Anyways, that's 200 gold for you, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oh, wait, and take a look at the uh, gold graph, because the gold graph did show some nice uh, nice push up towards PB or Pretty Boy Swag, which it makes yeah, sense, really because nice. they want that one fight that they won. That's really and what then picking is. up gyro too. Yeah, and picking up gyro. So remember, yeah, remember what I said? At 20 minutes, 1k is not a big deal. But now Luna has 
about two, almost three, mm-hmm. on top of Jaro. And that actually is a lead. So, you know, there is that. There is definitely that. Keep in mind, track goal can pull you back into the game, but also keep in mind that there's a Rubik, and it's... Ah, uh, I hate it when I'm at the point where I can't really say for sure that, oh yeah, track goal is going to keep him in this game. Because it's a Rubik. Yo, what is Bounty? Look at Bounty's positioning right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just going to sit behind you for your uh, tier 1 tower mid. Just as long as he doesn't Maybe I'll find your courier. Maybe he's looking for the courier. I want to say he is, but um, there's, there's a... Is this Gowercopters or is this... I don't know who's this. Is. I think it's Lunas. That's Lunas Creep. I don't know if I saw it. Yeah, yeah, that is... That's uh, Lunas Creep. But here comes the push! Necro level 3, so Prophet knows where everybody is at every Oof, single time. Look Ronnie at all these units! Ronnie can ulti all she wants, but they won't be able to run away once Prophet TPs Radiant's up those Radiant's top three. tower is under attack. And uh, also Lunar Dyer's Blessing, increasing damage of, of allies as well, not... I think it's only ranged allies? Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's, but oh, still, man. super nice. It's man, under... look at these towers just Radiant's melting! Tower Oof. But attack. in the meantime, um... Speed gaming also taking this tier two, so trading tier twos. We're gonna see TPs though. Oh, Sing Sing, you gotta get out of there. Nice. Actually, the arrow not quite timed that well, but uh, they get away anyway. Oh, oh, Pandego, are you gonna find Bone Seven? No, you're not. Okay. In Sing Sing's defense, if uh, OD one have TP'd in, that arrow would've been perfect because uh, the extra time was added because of the secondary TP. Yeah. So he didn't take into account that. Uh, I don't think he saw, um, like he might, he might have been fogged or something. Might have. Uh, but whatever, like... Well, Anyways. I mean, they, they wouldn't have been able to get a kill, like, at best, they might have been able to get a kill and pop Marana ulti and pray that no, they lost nobody. Because there was yeah, a lot exactly. of TVs coming in. So, Demise is 2.7k right now, what do you think Demise is going to go for? Uh, the Luna. Hmm... Satanic. Satanic? Satanic. Replace that I think, I think Manta. Reaver. Replace that Manta uh, with the Reaver. Yeah, okay. So that way she'll be able to survive, because that would give her the advantage over Gaara Kata, because their builds are exactly the same. I mean, it's scary. Yeah, Except it, Gaara has a Ring of Aquila, but... Oh, check out Visage. Visage actually has an Aghanim Scepter. Oh, nice. I didn't know he, I didn't know he had it, but he, does, he also has a Medallion, which means I can't go for Roche very soon. Yeah, and that three birds, they can actually like solo- Oh, Visage just Radiant's took mid. That fallen. steal. Oh, that, that was gross. <laughs> they couldn't even kill the- Couldn't even kill the birds in time. That's like 100 damage times three. 300 damage and they shoot like- zzz, 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 Like, yeah, it's- They shoot that tower was like, to kill towers. Yeah, that tower was gone. And actually, the birds do fly over an Observer War from the Radiant, so um, the Radiant might be expecting the uh, Dire to be going Roche. Which means that they might be, uh, they're, they're drawing all kinds of arrows right up here towards the uh, top tower. So they're going to be trying to kill it, they're going to try oh, to kill it. Oh, Pandego! Just, just barely They get tried out. that same play. Where Ryu just force staffs Pandego forward and he ults. Mm-hmm. Uh. See, see, like, honestly, in that case, I, I would've, I might have suggested that uh, Marana might, might have, it might have been a good idea for Sing Sing to stay there and actually bait it out. Because that means uh, the whole entire previous swag would have committed to that fight, and then the rest of uh, speed game would have just showed up and killed everybody. Yeah, that's a good point. But I'm not sure if it'll work out the way they wanted to. Oh, Bone Seven gonna reveal the smoke. A little bit too far. And away. Luna's like, no, no, no. Luna's like, no, 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 no. She does have her BKB though, so uh, sh- if they jump her, she just BKB ults and just blows. Oh, Bone Seven. Smoke is real. Oh, they pop. just me. They just missed Bone Seven. That was a good call, though. That was a good call. And Visage, picking up that uh, that mid-game gem of True Sight. So what I heard about this gem of True Sight pick is basically you want it, you want to use it to counter the wards. Yeah. And when you break the wards, you gain map control, which is what you need at this point of the game. Exactly. Because so. uh, if, if you have no vision on the map, especially when you're down or all your outer towers are gone, actually on both sides, um, but all your not outer towers, your tier one towers, all those are gone. You pretty much you're reduced to the vision of the creeps, and the creeps are probably getting pushed back and forth, so it's not a reliable vision. So if you can get rid of the wards on the enemy side, then you have the utmost advantage, because a lot of Dota is about knowing where people are. Yep. It's all about that information, which is why stream sniping is not good. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Then ghosting and... Wait, what's a ghosting? I have not a clue. I know what stream sniping is. You know, ghosting, you just... ghosting might be Bloodseeker. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I might be a monkey's uncle. No, you're not a monkey's uncle. You're uncle's monkey. That's true. Wait. Cool blue, always correct. There you go. Every second of every day. I've never been wrong, except All for right, one so... time. Alright, so... Exactly. So we don't know when that one time was, but it was one of the times. <laughs> one of those times. But anyway, uh, observe what place by the diary to block these ancients, so pretty cool stuff. I like that. And also, check out Nature's Prophet, level 3 Necro Book. Gonna be really nice versus Bounty. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see and if also... he goes for a sheep stick or he goes for Deso. Yeah, we got a double four. Look at these items, man. Bane. Got that four staff. Nature's Prophet, that Necro 3. Luna. She's actually going Manta, which is what I what I thought she would go for. Mm -hmm. uh, Outworld Devourer, four staff, Scythe of Vice, and Rubik. Also going for a four staff. We're going to have like a trillion four staffs. And uh, this is going to be a smoke gank by Pretty Boy Swag. So Pretty Boy Swag, playing this game pretty well. Mm -hmm. 7,500 gold lead for them. They're going to wait for the roast attempt because they know the Dire want to go for roast. But actually, the Dire are going to draw an arrow straight towards the middle tower because they don't want to lose anything. The smoke will get revealed mid if these guys do decide to farm this, but it will be a little bit more, a little bit too premature. Um, but because they do have a few seconds, they're actually going to juke the juke and actually go for a smoke gank of their own and try to wrap around the backside. See if they can find anybody on the in the radiant in their own jungle, but they will find nobody. Uh, we have everybody's here. Bounty's leading the charge because he has his invisibility up. So if he gets revealed, he doesn't care. The creeps do scout out all these. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wrong sentry ward. Man, they just walk through. That's an enemy sentry. No, no, no. That, that, that was oh the the dire. No, the the raiders yeah. just walk through their own sentry. Yeah, no speed speed gaming though. Walk, walk through uh pretty boy swags sentry ward. So they know. Oh man. Oh whoa, they might they might not know actually. They're all clumped. Uh oh, uh oh. Danger, danger, stranger danger, demise, uh oh, demise. Not the first one to be cut off. The Bane ulti will fall through the ult. Where's the ulti? There it is. And she's trying to do a little bit. She does go down at the end of the day. The ulti comes off with OD. He does do quite a bit of work. I'm running flies back in, so you glitch balance in all over the place. It's not the benefit of the drawback of having yourself a necro book. The Prophet's trying to get the kill on top of Lich, he's getting slowed up like a boss. Meanwhile, we got Ryu on that OD. He's about to be going down. He will be going down one way or another. He can't force that. He cannot force that uh, anytime soon. He will be able to force that. He does dodge the um, Dire Cup of Stun. Uh, he might oh, oh, the Centaur Stun. Oh, uh, that Centaur Dota. Yeah, he does go down. Kill. Centaur Dota. That, that is what Speed Gaming needed to turn that game around. They were losing. Dyer's now it's going to be even. Under attack. Mm -hmm. Triple kill on Jaro, not what you want to see. That was that was just Luna got caught out. Ooh, That's Prophet. Just... I was to say Prophet might be getting stunned up by the birds. <laughs> kind of sad actually, because because uh, Pretty Boy Swag was winning pretty bad, and then they just like threw three kills. Well, okay, okay. To their credit, they didn't throw the kills. They just basically oh, got no, caught no. out because the smoke gang did come out from Speed Gaming, and who would have thought that Speed Gaming would be trying to go for smoking after Pretty Boy Swag smoking? So. Yeah, okay, that's true. No, it was it was like they they should have I, I think they might have seen um speed gaming go through their their sentry. Well, no, they, like technically it shouldn't between... because they have they have no creeps here. They had to have other vision here. That has no vision. Oh, okay, yeah. So they didn't see it and basically they just yeah, and then Luna got caught out. Right. Like Luna got scared when they were pushing the tower and nobody was there, mm -hmm. and just as she ran away and her team didn't, there was there was speed gaming. So yeah, okay, just a good play by Speed Gaming. Alright, and Rochelle's gonna be getting done. The um, Radiant should have knowledge of this. No, okay, the Observer was a little bit too far out. Just a little slither of Rochelle path when you watch it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Aegis on Gyro, he has himself a rapier. I, I would. Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> Gyro went DR. Uh, uh oh. Gyro <laughs> Divine Rapier equals end of game, guys. No, uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but look at Luna's farm for a second. She doesn't have any big item. Manta's or Manta losers are gonna, are, bleh, are just gonna get three shot by Gyro. See, this, this is that's why I want to see her go for Satanic because she needs the HP, but she also does need the damage. But her Dyer's damage is not that has been killed. Oh wait, not that. Uh, oh, Dyer's courier got sniped by Prophet. And he's got a sheep stick, so he might be able to sheep Gyro and drop that DR. You mean OD? No, OD and Prophet both have sheep sticks. Oh, okay, 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 sorry. But yeah, um, Ryu on that OD, he's actually gonna go ahead and TP out, go back to safety. He doesn't want to get caught. The birds do scout out a sentry ward. Oh, they're, maybe they expect one over here. And Versace taking his sweet time. Aoi 2000 driving like a Volkswagen. What? Aoi, it's a vehicle. Aoi's a vehicle. 
voice uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you mean Audi? Close enough, you know what I meant. Uh, uh it's semantics. Semantics. I wonder where uh, where his name comes from. AAY 2000? Hmm. Probably has some epic story like, you know, the fighter of dragons was playing Elder Scrolls and died playing. Can, can you not? What? But you asked the question twice. I was answering your darn it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. It's obviously we've obviously been catching for like at least three hours. Got a troll. Got a troll. The cool blue, you know. If you don't troll blue, then you're not cool. Hey. Wow. That was almost. That was almost. That almost made sense. Uh, they do see the Marana, but they know it's illusion because they aren't revealed. They're gonna go ahead and throw an observer. I don't. I don't know if the illusion of uh, Marana saw it. But if it did, then no, no, no. Okay. I don't think you can. You see that. No, you, you, you see the observer was on the first place, but I don't, yeah, she didn't see him. Uh, they do know it's illusion, obviously. And uh, Lewis actually gonna go ahead and kill it. Brain sap, and they're gonna TP back because they need to defend their tower. I don't the know about this. I think they should have actually stabbed uh, Speed Gaming in the back the same way that mm. Speed Gaming stabbed them with with the smoke gang. But I think their smoke was running out, so they didn't really Radiant's have a choice. See, it's a really difficult attack. thing to do because Marana has her ult. They have no detection. Oh, on this side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, They have no detection on this side. Actually, no, hold on. Oh, OD has a gem, but he'll probably die anyway. So. And Prophet has a necro, so sure, they could have, but that would have been a very sloppy fight. I, I do agree with them back in the way. I do agree with them back in the way. Yeah, I think they may give up their tier 2 here because the tier 2's positioning is much worse than the than the high ground positioning. Sec. SECS. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Man. <laughs> Dat caster synergy. Dat. Oh, yeah. It's like we're joined at the hip, which is weird because no. we're joined at the internet. Never act it's weird because we've never actually seen each other in person, which is like weird. We're joined at the internet hip. There you go. What's that? The hip on the internet? The inter-hip? The inter-hip? Yeah, I would say Google it, but I'm afraid of what might pop up. So yeah, Gyra comes just casually two-shotting all these uh, ugly treants. They're not ugly, okay? Their mother made them that way, and their mother loves them very much. It's smart, they look horrible. Why are you so mean to treants? I'm not mean to treants. Look at them. They look. They're, they're, they're... That's a treant rights violation, okay? That is not a tree. What rights do treants have? They're they're trees. They're biodiversity, okay? You can't just hate on trees like that. Biodiversity, smart, really. With me. Honestly, you, you said biodiversity. You lost my biodiversity. I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, did you see that arrow onto that creep? Oh my god, Sing Sing. No, no. Moves like Jagger. So Gara has uh, 15 wand charges. I thought, I, I thought you were going to say 50. Five, I was like, uh. 15, no. I guess he has a cheese. Dyer's he has. What, what is that restore? That's 3. No, it's 15 times. What's 15 times 15? I never figured out those numbers. Uh, shit. <laughs> 25, I think? 225 Ooh, or something Garcom, like that? Garcom, he gets hit with the ulti oh, on Bane, but he has himself an Aegis. He's going to go down. He will be having um, be, be back up very soon. Bane is going to be forced to run away. He's tracked up. He's taking a whole bunch of damage. Does Nightmare himself get forced to have four yes, ulti. BKB comes off for Luna. BKB comes off for Garcom. She throws her ulti. She gets herself a kill on top of that. I don't know what's up. Luna, Luna! And Luna should be going down here very soon. Garcom just needs one more right click. The Shuriken Dogs will be enough. And triple kill for Garcom. He wasn't even aiming at those two, but they all died anyway. Because he has a serene attack right here. And guys, I don't know if they'll be able to recover from that, but OG does fight back. He's going to be the last fight for He needs fortified. to get these guys off of this team. Oh, no. And Bane buys back as well. Oh, he goes kill. straight for OG! What's up for Garcom? The Garcom is going to be taking a whole bunch of damage. Will he be going down to the close? He's just going to be able to get him. I'm sure he's going to be able to get him. Now, the Helmet able to heal him up enough to keep him fighting. And... Yeah. It's almost like that fight didn't happen. I don't know about that. The OD and Bane just like YOLOing. Like Bane just four staffed in, got stunned by Vistage and just died. And OD <laughs> four staffed in and just got stunned and died. Mm -hmm. He did sheep Gyro and took half his HP. Yeah. So but... I guess AKY must have sweat a little bit before but, killing him. So you have to consider the fact that Gyro Cup is hitting for only 400 damage just with casual right clicks. And he's also healing for 15% of that, which is. Yeah. A decent amount. That's ridiculous. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's think about this. Okay. So he's healing for 15% of that. That's what? 15 times 4? 
Well, wait, let's see. So 368, so he's, he's uh, doing 480 damage, so about 500. So 15 of 500 is, um, he heals about 45 HP a shot, like that. So 40, 45, 15 times 5. 500 times, am I doing this right? No. 500 times 15? 15. Wait, let's see, 500 times 15, I'm partially retarded. No, 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 you're not. It's, it's like like 45 sounded way too low. Okay, wait, 5 times 15. It should, it should be 30 plus 45. No, no, that's correct, yeah. 5 times 15? Yeah. So 15 times 4 is 60, oh, it's 75, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, 45 plus It's 30. 75, 75, 75, you're right. Okay. okay. Yeah, so like, he's healing 75 a shot. Yes, he's healing 75 a shot, which means that Bane right clicks for a little bit less than that. So he's pretty much healing for. Oh, wait, flat cannon. So it's multiplied by six again. Or yeah. multiplied by however many targets. I said there were six targets. So, so long story short, he's healing for whatever they throw at him. Yeah, once. If he. For the six attacks that he flax, he doesn't take damage. Pretty much. After that, he takes some damage. Mm -hmm. And once he gets a satanic, when he flax, he goes back to full HP. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically. So, give Gyrocopter Aegis, Cheese, and a Satanic, and he just won't die. Exactly. Unless you can chain stun him to death. Which is when you need an A Blade, which honestly was pretty much Oh, so much. look at Jaro's items! Oh my god! Does so he have double rapier? Double rapier? It happened! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Double rapier! Yeah, double rapier is up on Gyrocopter. Um, Satanic, he really needs. I'm, like, I'm, I'm really afraid for uh, Gyrocopter. <laughs> like, like, if Garo dies, which is, like, well, not if, but when Garo dies, he's gonna drop two rapiers, which means that you can have one on Prime, <laughs> you can have one on Luna. And actually, if you give me a second, I'll, I'll be back in a second. So many PRs, so little time. Gyrocopter Dyer's hitting for about 800 damage. A shot. Okay. Oh, no, 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 look at top! What is this? They lost their top barracks! I didn't even notice! Yeah, the creeps. Dude, these are mega melee creeps. They're gonna keep pushing. They're gonna be obnoxious. Yeah, I'm like... I'm like dumb. But anyway, um... I think Prophet pushed this in and I didn't even notice? He, I'm good at this game, guys. At, at this point, what Prophet can do, like, all he has to do is... He, all he has to do is, like, TP close to a tower. Like, TP, like, right about there. Get some train, sprout it, pop his necro book, and TP back home in the base. That's oh, look at OD, this. look at OD plus profit! Oh my goodness, dropping Bounty Hunter like it's hot! The worst is still to come. <laughs> the worst is still to come. And Bounty is gone. So, uh, if, if OD picks up a rapier, this game's over. <laughs> what? OD rapier? No. Ew, that's disgusting. No, profit rapier, please. Oh yeah, okay, Profit plus Rapier is like hilarious, you just TPs into your Rex. Oh hi Rex! Exactly, I mean, Odi with the Rapier, he, he does more damage with Arcane Orb, he just needs more intelligence. I think Odi needs a well, Shield Guard. still 500 damage. Was it 250? No, 300, yeah. It's still 300, doesn't matter how it wax. Exactly, that's a lot of damage. A lot of stuff going away. And um, I'm getting messages, why are you messaging me? Stop it. Man, I'm hungry. This game's gotta end, so I can eat. Hey, this morning, do you remember Velo? Yeah? Shout out to Velo, shout out to Velo, we love you. Um, yeah. he's, he's, watch, he's watching the cast. Yay! <laughs> that explains the three people that are watching. It's me, you, and Velo. Actually, <laughs> actually, there's somebody else. There, there, there would be four if I was there. <clears throat> oh, wow. What? I can't have everything open at the same time, Swoif. My internet is bad enough. I'm just I'm trolling you. But yeah, I'm really, really, really like like I'm extremely afraid of Gyrocopter going down because he needs a satanic. Like, there's no way around this. Gyro needs a satanic. Needs a satanic. Like, absolutely. Oh, ho, ho. did you see that double four staff? And where's what did Rubik get? He got ice armor. Ooh. Oh, check this. The track is down on OD. The slow comes out. The resummon comes out. Ryu running away like a boss. There's the gyro ult, and Ryu. Drops instantly, Jaro gets two kills! Oh my god! Did he just one shot a creep point? What is going on? Jaro getting two kills! He just one shot a creep point. Yeah, that was. That was scary. Like, really scary. But Cakes! The cake is a lie! Pushing this bottom lane! Sing Sing! Gotta be careful! If he gets shifted, he can actually die potentially. Anyways, Roshan! Roshan is up! 
And this gyrocopter. Rashad, going use fortify. Rashad, use fortify. Rashad, use fortify. Fortify. <laughs> Rashad, no! I love you. Yeah, Don't we got Prophet. Uh, Prophet doing quite a bit of damage to Marana. She does take a whole bunch of damage. He's actually going to go ahead and TP out. Very smart no, thing he's trying to do. He does get tracked up in the process, but he's fine. Meanwhile, we got Luna on the backside. She's going to TP out. And Garakopter, of course, picking up Aegis. That is top barracks spell as well. I still want to see Garakopter get a satanic. Like, I. I'm not gonna feel safe for KKY until he gets a satanic. Yes, sure, nobody can kill him right now in PBS because they don't have the damage necessary to finish him off before he heals back up. But I really, really it's so danger. What Gyro's doing? I mean, he does have an Aegis, so now it's not it's not good. Like now, Pretty Boy Swag is pretty like pretty screwed. I'd say. <laughs> pretty Boy Swag maybe swagging on out of this, which is not really what we want to have happen. But yeah, double rapier dota, man. That's all I gotta say. Double rapier dota, best dota. Four point five k gold on KKY. He's got enough for a satanic here. For uh, who? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh crap, where are you KKY. The gyrocopter. I, I don't know, dude. Prob probably the one shot in creep waves thing. No, 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 no. It makes sense. Uh, gyrocopter is farming money. I forgot. Yeah, exactly. He's building money. <laughs> gyrocopter. What are you building? Money. Exactly. Meanwhile, so, uh, Luna, on the other hand, Luna is not looking as uh, impressive because she doesn't have rapiers. Desolate is up on profit. Yeah, that's a good that's a good pick. And I also love Luna's choice here to go with Talisman of Evasion. Twenty five percent evasion versus that that flat cannon might just be the deciding factor that wins this game. You know? I mean, instead like that. Of, instead of Garcopter having to get six shots, he might have to get seven shots to kill Luna. Yeah, that seventh <laughs> shot might isn't a flak, right? Yeah. Oh, good point. You see what I'm saying. Oh, here's another smoke gang. Oh no, if they catch up anybody, this, this is so dangerous. Oh, no, 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 no. She's smoke, smoke, Here smoke. we go. Smoke math. Quick math. Okay, Garakopter hits for seven or almost 800. Wow, he hits for 800 per attack without crits. Um, how many attacks would it take to kill Luna? Three. See, see, guys, you can learn math from Dota. So whenever your parents say, stop playing Dota, go do homework, say, I am doing homework. I'm doing math and logic and strategy and lazy. And, and lazy, exactly. <laughs> that last part. That last part, you got it. 5.5k on Gyrocopter. Will he get a third DR or will he get an item that actually doesn't make us shit our pa uh, I mean, pardon my French. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> I, I thought you said a shit or panther. Bottom tower I was like, what's is a under shit attack. panther? Is that a new well, barrier? think about it this way. Oh my god, look at the tower. It just drops Radiant's in three shots. KKY playing the most fun game we have seen in probably uh, 35 seconds. Okay. That one shot creeps. Okay. Ryu, will he? Yes, he does. There's the astral going down. The slow comes out. Nice little four stops there, but he's still. Now he's out of range, finally. There's the sleep coming out. The arrow misses, but Gyrocopter is unafraid of absolutely anybody. The Radiant's nature's prophet all comes out. Where is prophet? Guess where he is. He is pushing down the middle Dyer's tower with his desolator. But will it be Faustlin Gyrocopter, who actually takes out that 2-3 at the same time as Cakes? They need to fortify now. They need to fortify now if they want to win this because prophet can Radiant's win the uh, split push things. Actually, fortifies on both sides. Holy crap, guys! Prophet needs to go for those tier fours. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if his team's gonna be able to defend this because after Gyrocopter. Cakes! Okay, now let's look. Let's look at the other at the other side. Pretty boy swag. They lost both Rubik and Bane. They're trading right now, ladies and gentlemen. The Murana ult comes Base out. Race. What are they gonna do? Ryu, Ryu's in such a bad spot. He gets slow, but he astros and stuff. Demise. Oh, nice little dodge. But the tier fours are going down. The fortify comes up. Demise walks in. Forced to activate his BKB. Jarvis comes back with his ulti. Bounce Dotto. Best Dotto. Bounces once. Bounces twice. Bounces three times. The OD ult comes out, but it's not stopping Sing Sing. Sing Sing walks away. Ryu, meanwhile, he is still alive. How is everybody still alive? Look at Prophet. Prophet is attacking the shrine. It's a half HP. Will Sing Sing and Universe be able to stop this? Or will Cakes do it? Will he do it? He'll do it. Prophet <laughs> takes this game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. That was insane. And my voice just cracked. Big plays for Pretty Boy Swag, that Prophet stealing that game from under a double DR gyrocopter. Oh my god. Well. Thank you. Yeah, man. Oof. Um. Okay, uh, I just want to take a moment to say that uh, Prophet wasted a lot of time going from the mid racks. He should have just went for tier fours, but that didn't matter.
Because nobody, nobody from uh, Speed Gaming decided to TP until like the last minute. Yeah, nobody noticed. They were all just like, oh, we have a DR gyro, whatever. And okay, then, thank you so much for watching. This has been Smoif TV. I'm Smoif. And I'm, I'm, I'm Speed Tools. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I'm cool blue with my fault. I didn't mess, I mess you up, Smoy. <laughs> I'm Smoy and I'm speechless. Uh, and I'm speechless and I'm cool blue. I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, my video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was freaking awesome. There's a game three. There is a game three. So we'll see you guys whenever.